In this week's update, we're taking care about the onions and garlic that we want to harvest early in the next year, as well as some tasks regarding our workspace. Before we can start planting the garlic and onions, we have to prepare the bed. Preparation contains multiple steps, and the more careful you do them, the better, hopefully, the harvest in the next year will be. First, we remove all the weeds and old plants out of this bed. In a second step, we use our handy fork to loosen up the ground, which should provide the plants in the next year with more oxygen. We created a template which helps us to lay out the garlic and onion bulbs in the right distance next to each other. It's important that the bottom part of both of those plants are facing the earth and not the sky. In the next step we cover up the onions and garlic with a 5 to 10 cm layer of compost. While this is happening, the next bed already gets prepared. And with the help of some newfound friends, we finished up four beds in just a single afternoon. continued the work in the coming days and finished off all six beds which we wanted to prepare. In total we planted 1500 onions and 750 garlic plants. Once again we broke our fork halfway through the project and had to continue with our smaller forks. As everything looks better from above, here are some drone shots from that day. Just as we are finishing up this video, we recognized that already the onions and the garlic started to build their small drives which are peeking through the earth. You can already sort of see how the rows will grow in the next year. As one of the bigger tools, which was a frame press, was removed from the shop, we used the opportunity not just to clean out that corner of the shop, but also to build a proper place where we can store the wood. It shall be a rack for the whole beams, and for the wooden boards we will make a stand-up rack. But first we have to clean out the shop at that particular point. Once again, some lucky hands were here to help us out. The creation of the standing rack for the boards was rather fast and straightforward. Now to the more complex part, which is the rack for our beams and hardwood. 
As this has to sustain quite a weight, we will build it out of larger beams. There is also quite some joinery going into this. I'm not very satisfied with the way I did it, as through screwing them together the joinery opened up again. In the coming days I will have to work on that. For the next joints I will use the approach which shouldn't open up on me again. Here you can see the joints opening up due to the fact that I screwed the wood together. I will chimney in some extra wood in there as this will be a load bearing beam and has to sustain quite some weight in the coming weeks. Although I'm not too pleased with the current state of the joinery, it already can sustain quite some weight, at least my body weight for now. As the days get shorter and the nights get colder, even in our glass house it's now time to take down the tomatoes. It's really hard to believe that it just have been 5 months since we started planting them or growing them inside the glass house. Over this period they gave us close to 70 kilograms of tomatoes and we're really happy with this for that season. Here you can see us planting them at the 15th of May in this year. Something that we wanted to try out, or are currently trying out, is also to produce our own seeds, as buying them yearly is quite expensive. Here you can see Nini harvesting the seeds of the pak choy plants from this year. Something we haven't talked too much yet is that we document everything we harvest, not just in the mount but also from which bed or of the glasshouse part we took it from. In the upcoming video we'll talk about this in more detail. Thank you.